Well, President Biden's big ticket fundraiser is expected to bring in a whopping $28 million. Fox 11's Alex Michelson, the only local TV reporter inside. He joins us now live from downtown L.A. with that part of the story for us. Alex. Yeah, Susan, we were invited to join the pool tonight. The ground rule was we weren't able to shoot any video, but I could take notes and report back what I saw. Here's some of that. Jimmy Kimmel poses for a selfie with President Biden and former President Obama. On stage at the Peacock Theater, they lay out the case for Biden and against Trump. Biden saying, retribution, he's going to get back at the people. Obama, at some point, politics isn't just a performance. Kimmel jokes, all we have to remember about the Trump years is we ran out of toilet paper. He promised to make America great again, and we ended up wiping ourselves with envelopes. It was fantastic. I, you know, I learned a lot. It's so great to see all of the Democrats come together with one purpose. And the evening raised more than $28 million, making it the largest single fundraiser in Democratic Party history. The cheapest ticket? 250 bucks, the most expensive, 500,000. In addition to celebrities like Barbara Streisand, Cheryl Lee Ralph, and Jason Bateman, there were also high profile Democrats from California in the crowd. Among them, Governor Gavin Newsom, LA Mayor Karen Bass, and many, many members of Congress. And I think that he laid out the case against Donald Trump. They actually went in and did a contrast. It was good energy in the room, and I think it's indicative of what we're all feeling. George Clooney and Julia Roberts serve as co-hosts and warm up the crowd. The chair of the California GOP, Jessica Milan Patterson, saying, no amount of Hollywood magic or celebrity cameos can disguise the fact that Joe Biden is a failed president, will be retired by voters once and for all this November. It's an interesting mix of Hollywood and uh, you know, political power in California. Seema Mehta, the LA Times, is part of the press pool with me. Both Republicans and Democrats raised so much money here. And if you look at the states that donated the most, not only to President Biden, but to former President Trump, for both of them, California is the biggest source of their campaign donations. Trump holding his own big money SoCal fundraisers last week, including a stop in Newport Beach, where he drew big crowds. Trump's team said an event in Mar-a-Lago raised $50 million in one night, the biggest political fundraiser in history. President Biden arrived early Saturday at LAX. He'll leave Sunday. He doesn't have any public events planned or opportunities for reporters to ask him questions. Trump also did not have any opportunities for reporters to ask him questions when he was in Southern California. Both of them, though, are going to have to answer a lot of questions, if you can believe it. The first presidential debate between Trump and Biden is a week from Thursday. Reporting live from downtown L.A., Alex Michelson, Fox 11 News. So, Alex, we saw what happened outside. Did any of those protesters or any protesters pony up the 250 bucks to be inside? No, uh, which was notable because they've seen so many protesters at so many different Biden and Harris events. They did a similar event at Radio City Music Hall, and it was repeatedly interrupted. Tonight, no protesters interrupted. I think the Biden team had worked hard to try to vet the crowd, and that seemed uh, to work. Uh, no interruptions at all. Very interesting. Alex Michelson, thank you for your reporting.